It's now possible to generate AI responses with the Hara command completely offline. We've integrated with a simple AI tool called Cobalt CPP. Basically, it allows you to run LLMs or large language models directly on your computer. Now, there is a caveat to all of this, is that running these LLMs on your own hardware, well, you need some pretty hard hardware, as it can require a lot of resources, mainly from a high-powered graphics card. So unless you have a beefy computer or a second computer to offload this AI generation load, we wouldn't really recommend this. So, what's the advantage of running an offline AI? Well, the first one being a tree, apart from the fact you need to have all the fancy hardware to begin with to actually run it effectively. And secondly, is there's no content or safety moderation with the majority of offline LLMs. Think of that as what you risk. Anyway, Cobalt CPP is for the most part pretty easy to set up, especially compared to other offline LLM tools out there. So let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do is go to the Cobalt CPP GitHub. On the right hand side, you need to click the latest release, scroll on down, and download the latest Cobalt CPP.exe file. Then just place it on your desktop. That's it, you have Cobalt CPP installed. However, Cobalt is just the chassis to run these LLMs, so we're gonna need to download one. Fortunately, there's this rather popular website called I get in face, which has a whole heap of free offline LLMs. We're going to be using one today called Mifomax L213B GGML. Now to give you a quick 101 lesson of what all of this means, there's really two main things that you need to worry about here. The first one being is what I'm going to call the B number. You're going to see 7B, 13B, 30B, etc. The B stands for billions of parameters. Basically, the larger the billions of parameters the AI model has, the smarter it is. But this is very subjective of what is smart in this case. Anyway, if you have a lower end machine, a 7 billion parameter model is more recommended. If you have something a little bit more high powered, a 13 billion parameter LLM is pretty good. Anything above that, you're gonna need some rather serious dedicated hardware to run them effectively. Secondly, we have the LLM type. Cobalt CPP currently supports two types of LLMs, GGML models and GGUF models. To summarize very briefly the difference, GGML are the older, more deprecated version. They still work quite well, but as time of recording, that's still the most prevalent, so the one we're downloading today is GGML. In the future, you'll probably see more GGRF models, which are better, faster, all of that good stuff. Anyway, for our Mifomax model, you're going to want to click Files and Versions, and then we have a whole heap of .bin files. Once again, to summarize briefly, the larger the bin file, the smarter the AI model will be. In this case, we're going to be picking Q5 underscore K underscore M. Most of the Q5 and Q4 models are a good starting point. Once you download it, just put it anywhere on your computer where you're going to remember it. In this case, I'm just putting it on my desktop. Now we need to run Cobalt CPP as an admin, and you should be presented with this quick launch menu. There's quite a few options here, but just for the sake of getting the mod working, we're only going to worry about a few of them. The main consideration is the preset. And you're going to pick your preset depending on the GPU you're using. If you're using a NVIDIA GPU, you want to use CU Blast. If you're using an AMD GPU, you want to use CL Blast. Next, you need to set up the GPU layers. Basically, different size models have a different maximum amount of GPU layers, which means it's using more of your GPU for AI generation. And we want a lot of GPU power. Most 7B models use 35 GPU layers, and most 13B models use up to 43 GPU layers. So with different models, there can be slight differences. In this case, Mifomax is a 13B model, so we're using 43 GPU layers. Next, you just need to make sure streaming mode is enabled, and now you just need to click the browse button and select the Mifomax model we've downloaded earlier. And that should be all the setup for Cobalt CPP. Make sure your menu looks something that you see on screen right now. And if it looks good, 
click the launch button. It would take a little bit for the AI to boot up and you should also see a web browser version of Cobalt CPP pop up as well. You can close the web browser, yeah, that's not important, just as long as the command prompt is running, you're good to go. Yeah, the web browser does have some pretty cool tools. Now if we open up the gateway server and go to the configuration menu, the main configuration we need to change is a Cobalt CPP URL. And this is going to vary depending on the gateway server setup you are using. If you're running the UW app server, then you just need to use localhost colon 5001. Wherever if you're using the drama AI distro due to how the distro handles networking, what we need to do is find our computer's actual private IP address. It's very easy to find. Open up a command prompt as admin, type in IP config, and look for your primary network adapter. The IP address would look something like 192.168 or 172.16. And then just use this as your URL address as so. Now what you need to do once in game is press escape, go to the mod configuration menu, SPG, and make sure there is a hotkey for change backend model. Now if we go back in game and press our hotkey, in the top left corner of the screen you should see that the model has been changed to Cobalt CPP. And now I can talk to her using the offline AI. Hey Haruka, how are you? Whatever it is, just tell me and I'll do my best. No need for the formalities, Rangru. We're friends now, right? And, yeah, you go. We can prove that this was generated offline, because in the Cobalt CPP.exe menu, you should see all the code to actually generate that response. And that's how you set up Cobalt CPP. As you see, there's a lot of different settings which are available, but actually getting it up and running, at least with a basic model, is not bad. As you saw, the response time can be slow depending on your hardware. I mean, I have a pretty good graphics card, but even then, it still does tend to choke up. So I highly recommend that you really either invest in some dedicated hardware to get this working, or you just play around with the settings. You gotta realize this technology, even though it's not relatively super new, it's actually been around for a few years, it's still a bit new in the consumer sense. And so you're gonna just have to spend some time playing around, finding different models, and just finding what configuration works best for your computer setup. That's just how it is. We're still pioneering new technology here. Well, that's really it. That's how you install Cobalt CPP for the Haruka mod. I hope you guys enjoy playing around with some offline AI generation.